Hi everyone. So let's start building our first Next.js application. Okay. This is very basic and uh, I hope you will get uh, the basic concepts about server side rendering, how we are creating the multiple pages and how we are linking them through the Next.js router link. Okay, so we have already created a simple basic application. Next is npx create react app or you can install manually. And then we just need to do npm run dev. Okay, I did this somewhere. So in last video, we created this basic application. Then we can just do npm run dev. So what it will do is it will start the next year server. And what all things will happen when you are actually starting this application or whenever you are building it. So it is started the server on 3000, right? Now, if you just see what will happen when you do npm run build, I think this should be a command next build. So it will create a build. It is just going to create a production build for us that will be available in this folder structure. So you can see here we can keep styles. Here we will maintain all our pages like contact, home, about, whatever the pages you wanted to have, this public where you wanted to put your static artifacts. Okay, test is package JSON and a readme file. Now if I just see what all things I have now, you can see dot next folder is created, right? When you do the build and what this dot next folder is having, it is having everything which you have built. Let me just make it a little small. Yeah, now you can see in the dot next folder, you can see all the other things. Build manifest, cache, route, routes manifest, server and all, right? If you just go into the, you can see all the other artifacts. So it is just generating its own case cache and all the pages, right? These are all default pages which Next.js is creating. You can see app.js and all. Right, it's a actually compiled version of a page. Let's go back outside from this folder. Okay, so when you do npm run dev, it actually builds the project for us. So it will start running the application on 3000. We will see what it is. Okay, now we have seen these pages and all. Now you can actually open the particular page and see what code is written there. You can see it is very basic React component export default function home, right? And then you are actually using CSS modules and you are actually up update applying the styles like this and rest all is your HTML content. Getting started content, the default page which Next.js provides, okay? Now, what, uh, what is the folder structure look like is something like this. This is dot next folder is created, which contains the build and the library to start the server. Components, all the custom components we are going to build will go here. Pages, all the app level routes like home, contact, about, profile, settings, all these pages will there go there. So whatever the file you are creating inside pages will become indirectly a route. Okay, then we have package.json. So this is the basic. Now what we need to do is we can create other components like pages can have a home index.js, right? We'll just create a simply uh, files under the pages and that will become indirectly route. Like you wanted to have a route in the application, something like pages index.js. So what you will do is go to your pages directory and create home directory and put index.js there. It will indirectly become a next.js route. Okay, that can be hosted on your application. Okay, so if I just talk about, do I have this? This is already a simple application I have, right? I think we can just run our own application and see. So, are we running our application? No, so let's run that. NPM run dev. So this would start our application on port 3000.
order compiled successfully then it is building the page and here is our next CSS now if you try to inspect it this is just a hello world uh, auto generated code now if you just try to see what all things we have captured from server side rendered application this local host if you just try to see this page let me format this you can see all the HTML is being rendered and in the bottom somewhere we have these uh, JavaScript files right which will be loaded right so this is how our page is getting loaded and here we can also check the timer I mean how much time this particular document page is getting rendered and in how many milliseconds our page is getting visible to the user you can just check the timeline okay so this is how this is the basic Next.js application now you can actually do one thing is start creating the pages inside a pages directory and that will automatically link to the routes here okay like if you just create a home home index.js like home if you just create an index.js inside a home then it will go there currently there is no home so it is showing the 404 route okay this page could not be found okay so let's start building our uh, application